back, everybody. Today, we'll take a look at this Hellraiser 3 Pinhead Cenobite figure from Mesco Toys. It's a 12-inch figure. Well, whether this actually is a figure or a statue, I'll leave up to you to decide. But let's begin with a look here at the box with Pinhead clearly displayed and with pictures on the back and then a biography about the Cenobites and Pinhead himself. And here we have a 360 look of this figure. My first impression is that this really looks like Doc Bradley as Pinhead, known for several Hellraiser movies, but also that this is a very limited figure with limited articulation and a very cheap part as well. But let's begin with a look at the accessories. We get three weapons or tools, torture tools. Here we have a knife or a tiny saw and also a saw here. They are all very nicely detailed and we of course also get the puzzle cube, the iconic box from the Hellraiser movies. Very nicely detailed as well. And finally we get two extra hands so we can display the figure with open hands or gripping hands on both the left and right side. Good details here on the fingernails. The tools or weapons can be put here on these ropes on the figure and of course the figure is also able to hold the tools but you have to force them because he has a very tight grip. One very important aspect of a pinhead figure of course is the pins themselves and they are made of metal and they look great. They seem to be a little thicker than they are in the movie, but maybe that's necessary to see them on a figure in this scale. The rest of the upper part of the body is very nicely detailed. A lot of good details, as I mentioned earlier here on the fingers, but also the other parts. But then on the lower part, it becomes a bit more cheap, not so great and if you turn the figure around here you have the explanation the entire bottom half of the figure is more like well i don't know it's very light and very cheap let's proceed with the articulation and that's very quickly done you can't really turn the head well you can turn it but it seems to go back here which actually is a little scary <laughs> and the only real movement is in his arms here that can go up and down and you can move them here at the elbow and also at the wrist. And that means that you can display the figure here with the box and the tools but really nothing more than that. So as I mentioned earlier, is it a figure or a statue? I'll leave you now with my opinion about this whatever it is, and then I'll sum up this review. Pinhead here from Mesco Toys is a pretty cool display piece. You can move the arms around enough to make different poses, but he can't really interact with other figures. He fits in the 1 6th scale though, so you can display him along others 12 inch figures without a problem. 
So if you buy this as a figure, you might be disappointed by the lack of articulation. If you buy it as a statue, you might be positively surprised that it actually is able to move. I slightly recommend checking out this pinhead figure because it's also pretty fairly priced. Thanks a lot for watching this review. Leave a comment or subscribe if you'd like to see more.